you know, I'm lucky enough to drive a different car every week, but I have to be honest, this is the first time I've been behind the wheel of a Rolls Royce, and I've only got about a half hour to experience this car, so I thought I would just walk you through what it's like, because, let's face it, if you're any kind of an automobile guy, driving a Rolls Royce has got to be on your bucket list. So I'm checking that one off as soon as I hit the start button. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seatbelt on, and um, all right, now what? Adjusting the mirrors, adjusting this mirror. It's very, um, very yeah. chromey in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. It's very opulent. Oops, hit the wrong button. Just fold the mirrors in. See, first mistake. All right, let's put those back out. All right, we are in the car. Can you adjust the steering wheel there? There we go, of course you can adjust the steering wheel. What a silly question. Look at that. And I think we have the reverse up here. Yes, no, down. Yeah, you can You can push all the way up. Ah, there we go, There's toward you and up. Reverse. All right, first time driving a Rolls Royce, here we go. How's my hair? It is very quiet, of course, as it should be. Steering wheel is exceptionally large. I'd say one of the largest steering wheels that I have ever had the pleasure to sit behind. Car is exceptionally quiet. You can hear my phone digging. And exceptionally smooth. Even the dials move in a very uh, eloquent and unrushed manner. I suspect if you're in uh, a Rolls Royce, you probably have a lot of time on your hands. I say that because chances are if you own one of these cars, you're probably not waiting in the TSA line when you go to the airport, you're not rushing to the airport, you're probably being chauffeured there, at which point your private jet is waiting for you. It's a whole different life. Not bad, not bad at all. I can get used to this. In the old days, Rolls-Royce used to say that power was, well, adequate. Now, I wish you to say it's more than adequate. 6.6 liter, twin turbocharged, 563 horsepower, 575 pound-feet of torque. Now that is a lot of power. That is much more than just adequate. And that is very light. If you know anything about TFL car, you know that one of the things that we always care about is how fast a car goes zero to 60. And of course, the Rolls is no exception, which means that we've got a big heavy car with, well, a big turbocharged, dual turbocharged engine propelling it from zero to 60. So let's see how fast she'll do. I'm thinking up here at altitude, it's gonna be slower, but um, probably not that much slower. There is no sport mode. There is a sport suspension, but no sport mode. All right, here we go. Slow deal is activated. This is very impromptu. Oh yeah. Oh, and there we have it. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you think the ghost did it in? 6.06 .06 seconds. And that was very impromptu. If I had more time, I bet you we can get that into the fives very easily. Nice, nice. Last year, uh, Rolls-Royce had a really good year. You said you've sold, I think it's the best year in the company's history, 3,500 units, which is you know a lot of cars for Rolls-Royce. Why do you think that is? I think people are really beginning to appreciate the brand and the works, the craftsmanship that goes into the car. Um, every, every inch of the car is scoured, every detail is taken into account, and people really value that and appreciate that, and these are cars that last for years and years. Where is your biggest market? Is it America or someplace else? Uh, the biggest market consistently is America, yep. followed by China, and then the Middle East. 
and I know the Chinese love backseat room, and yep. this has a lot of it. Oh, it does. This is the extended wheelbase, I mean, which gets you almost seven inches look at of that. extra leg room. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's surprisingly agile. I'd love to take it to the mountains. I mean, it's a big, heavy car, so there's no doubt that it pushes when you take the corner. There's no doubt that you can feel that weight, but isn't that part of the Rolls Royce experience? Don't you want to feel that weight? So I checked that off my bucket list. Okay, I did get to drive it for like 15 minutes, which means I can't give you a full review, but I did the best I could in a short time. 352 thousand dollars. That's a lot of money for a car. Would I pay that? You know, I don't know. I mean, I don't have that kind of money. But I can tell you this: you don't just get a car; you also get an umbrella. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. See you next time. I can't speak for the Mulsanne, uh, as I haven't had a lot of experience with it, but you have your, your seat massagers, your, your warmers, coolers, that all allows for a very pleasant and a very um, comforting Rolls Royce experience. So after a long drive, you get out of the car feeling refreshed rather than exhausted after a long drive as you would normally do.